The city of Los Angeles tried to steal a landlord's property and take it so they could keep the rents affordable forever. But that landlord is not cooperating in this unlawful action. I'm Tony, and this is Real Estate Investing in Landlord News. Are you an aspiring landlord looking to buy your first rental property? Or perhaps you're a small real estate investor with one or two properties and you're trying to move up to the next level. You could use consulting and I'm offering consulting here through Real Estate Investing and Landlord News. If you're interested, please send me an email at Tony at NorthOmahaInvestments.com. All right, so I have an interesting update to a video I did a while back, a few months ago, and it was about how this landlord in Los Angeles was going to have his property taken from him by the city. Okay. The city says, Hey, we want to keep the rents in this place affordable. So we're going to take your property from you because we don't like the fact that you're trying to raise the rents up to market rates. Well, landlord's not having it. It's a bunch of garbage. He filed a lawsuit and he's not cooperating with anything that they're trying to do and i don't blame him i would have done the exact same thing okay this is garbage they're trampling all over people's property rights and you know what for now he's put a delay on them taking the property he still has ownership of it but the tenants aren't happy the tenants aren't happy because guess what they haven't been paying rent they've been living for free in this property and he's filed evictions against them that's right <laughs> I mean, you, they deserve to be evicted at this point. I mean, you, they haven't paid rent in months. It's a complete joke. This whole situation is an absolute travesty, in my opinion. And I, I can't believe that, you know, a city would actually try to take a property from a landlord so that they could keep the rich cheap. I mean, this, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. So I, I've got a good article here that is a complete update to the, you know, the story I did before. So before I get into the article, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button. Maybe leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. So what do you think of the city of Los Angeles trying to steal this man's property? Okay. You know, it, it's an insane story, you know, and you know, do you feel for the tenants? You know, I can't say that I do. I can't say that I do. You know, it seems like they dug their own hole by not paying him the rent that they were owed. And now they are facing eviction. So it's absolutely crazy, you know, all the stuff that's going on in this story. But anyway, let's get into it because, you know, it's quite interesting. This story is coming from LAist.com and it says, Landlord orders LA renters to pay or leave Chinatown apartment building. All right, let's let's see what the article says. Dozens of renters are facing notices to pay or quit. The first step toward eviction at an embattled Chinatown apartment building that's become the epicenter of a heated battle over affordable rents. The 124-unit property known as Hillside Villa was originally developed in the 1980s as affordable housing loans from the city of LA or using affordable housing loans from the city of LA. But the building's original 30-year affordability covenant has expired, and some tenants have seen their rents triple in recent years as a result. In an effort to preserve affordability and keep low-income ten low tenants housed, the L.A. City Council voted in May 2022 to acquire the building. At the time, the move was described as unprecedented, but since then, the city has made little progress towards buying the building. So, yeah, I... I've, I covered this story before, and basically what happened was the per people who originally built the building, they used a special loan thing that said they had to keep rents affordable for 30 years. Well, that 30 years is up, okay? And the landlord, after the 30 years was over, immediately tripled people's rents. And those people, they came back and like, we can't afford this, we can't afford this, right? But legally, the landlord was 100% in the right you know they were allowed to do so they followed all the rules of the loan program they followed the rules of the city and now they are allowed to raise the rents should be no problems right but these people they went and they they whined and complained to their city council members and the city decided oh well we're just gonna buy this building and then we we're able to keep the rents low for these tenants the only problem was landlord wasn't selling and especially not selling to the city 
Okay, so, <laughs> you know, the, what, what was the city's plan? They were going to take it. They were going to steal the property from the landlord and force him to sell. And that is where this whole situation comes from. So, you know, let, let me continue because they have a little bit more information in here. Now, Hillside Villa owner Tom Botts is demanding tenants pay back rent he says they owe or leave this week. Over the weekend, tenants received a three-day notice to pay or quit. Rene Alexander is one of them. He said residents are disappointed in the city's response. We have all these people here who cannot afford to move anywhere else, Alexander said. And the city has done absolutely nothing. Alexander, Alexander plans to fight the latest threat of eviction. And you know what? I feel for these people, okay? They moved into an affordable housing complex and because, you know, they needed lower rents or supposedly they needed lower rents, right? I don't know their situations. We'll just say they needed lower rents. Well, the place is no longer a lower, you know, affordable housing. It's no longer a lower income housing place. So they got to find somewhere else that is in order so that they can still pay their rent. The problem is the city itself created the issue because they did not allow enough affordable housing to be built to house these people. So if they leave this building, they've got nowhere they can go where they can have, you know, um, similar, they can pay a similar amount in rent. So yeah, the, the city itself created this problem by basically making it so hard to build by, you know, making it so expensive to build that there is no affordable housing anywhere. <laughs> yeah. You know, you, you created the problem and, you know, it, it doesn't make any sense, though, to blame the landlord in this situation. The landlord is following the law and the landlord's strategy, you know, the, was to convert these to market rate units as soon as that loan, that 30 year loan uh, period was up. And that's exactly what they did. So, yeah, I feel like the landlord's just caught in a bad situation with a government bureaucracy that is overreaching, that is going into, you know, an unconstitutional taking of property. And so that's why they filed the lawsuit and that's why this whole thing is held up right now. The city's response. In a written statement, Zach Seidel, uh, spokesperson for LA Mayor Karen Bass said, the mayor's office is in communication with tenants. Our office has met with residents of Hillside Villa, a privately owned building that is not in the city's control and in coordination of the city attorney and housing department. We are working on long-term solutions. Council member Eunices Hernandez, who represents the district where Hillside Villa is located, tweeted a statement over the weekend calling on bots to rescind the notices. This dangerous escalation from owner Tom Bot shows yet again that he is willing to gamble with the safety and security of vulnerable talent Tenants who have lived in Hillside Villa for decades, Hernandez said. Mr. Botts has not responded to outreach from my office, and actions like this show his continued unwillingness to negotiate in good faith with the city. Hernandez's office did not offer answers to questions from LAist about what powers the council member has to stop evictions from moving forward at Hillside Villa. Yeah, why would this landlord want to negotiate with you? You basically said you were going to steal his property. I wouldn't want to talk to you either. Talk to my lawyer. That's what I would say. Talk to my lawyer. I'm not talking to you. You know, you're wasting my time. You're trying to steal my property from underneath me. And that's wrong. It's dead wrong. It's unconstitutional. And I'm not going to put up with it. I'm not, I'm not negotiating. You know, I'm not dealing with you. The real flaw in your logic is that you think that somehow there's, you have some sort of power in this situation and you don't. Attempts to purchase the property have stalled. Botts has repeatedly said he's not interested in selling the building to the city. Renter activists and tenants at Hillside Villa have called on the city to seize the building through eminent domain. But in a meeting with reporters in March 2023, Bass said her administration is not considering that route for Hillside Villa. Eminent domain, I know that so many of the tenants would like for us to do that, but you know very well Eminent domain can take years, Bass said. In an email to LAist on Tuesday, Bot said again that Hillside Villa is not for sale. Due to its location, it is currently zoned for 345 units and ownership, like many owners, has long-term plans for its property, Bot said. 
City demanded talks are ongoing with a group of city officials who ownership believes are authorized to negotiate. Those negotiations are rocky and the city repeatedly backtracking on various issues. So yeah, the, the place has a, a little over a hundred units in it right now, but it is zoned for like 345 units. And so this property owner could add over 200 units to this property and you know, just ha make a ton of money. Not only that, but you know, get these, the rents up to market rates and this place could be worth tens of millions of dollars more than it is right now. Yet the city, here they are trying to steal it, steal it. Oh, we're gonna force you to sell it to us. No, no, do not. I'm glad this, 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 this property owner, this landlord here is standing his ground and standing up for what is right, okay? And yeah, he, he stands to lose a fortune if uh, what the city wants to happen happens. They can go that route if they want, but you know, this is, you know, this is a true constitutional challenge. And, you know, that's why I brought this whole story up. I believe they mentioned here that, uh, how much this property was worth. Okay. And it says, uh, here in a 2021 city report, the LA housing department estimated it would cost nearly $60 million to acquire and rehabilitate the building. So yeah, $60 million. So you can keep some tenants cheap. Uh, with cheap rent. Give me a break, okay? There has to be a better solution than stealing a landlord's property from him. So interesting uh, story. I'll put a link to the article in the description so that you can, you know, read the, the entirety of it yourself. But man, let, let's hope that the city of LA is not allowed to do this.